Oh wow, that's it. Oh. Ooh, it feels so slick and tight up here. Oh, I actually remember to press the button for a change. Hello, welcome again to another show. My name is the one and only Obo Tom. And yeah, my girlfriend's off somewhere. We'll see. Um, so we're here watching the Hobo and his girlfriend wrestling show. Again, I'm the I'm one and only Hobo Tom. I'm kind of doing, again, a couple things. I'm working. I just finished watching SmackDown. And I was debating if I should watch 205 and the main event. I don't think so. Only because, well, I know the wrestling is better. But I do have to finish up work because I only have an hour left of that. I have to go to the gym. The hobo. Get, take my nap. And get back to work tomorrow. Or hobo. Gym. Or actually work. Yeah, no. Yeah, gym then work. Thursday I have to wake up. I think this whole grind of working like 40 and 60 hour weeks. I think finally is kind of getting to me. But that's going to end really soon though. Because I think I only have. Seven, six or seven more days left on this project. So I think that the the June sixteenth week going to tranquilo. But enough about me. I actually did something amazing today. Besides get this great looking haircut, all the shagginess is gone. Michael Stone, thank you very much. It's been a. I I should check my email more often than I should. Generally, if no one says they sent me an email, I tend not to look. Unless I think I have some semi-copyright issues. And that's okay, because I'm not monetized yet, so they're not getting anything. <laughs> I feel like I have anything to give them. I can give them an empty water bottle and play about it. But Michael Stone, thank you very much for your comment. Um, he wrote a comment about how he actually appreciates me. Oh, someone appreciates this guy? Um, for my NXT videos, getting in the entire entrances to wrestlers. Um, people like that. They like to hear their music. Hey, I just do what I would like to do. I like to do what I like to hear. I'm glad you guys like that as well. So, Michael Stone, this air guitar segment goes out to you. And again, if you'd like your own little video dedication, you can always either email, where I kind of do check that randomly, leave a comment in the YouTube section, like, and subscribe. And I think if you subscribe or like, I think I see your name. That's always a good for paper too while I'm at that. And then tonight, it's time to talk about some WWE SmackDown. And this was kind of a weird show. It really did have... So you know, it's here I can lean on this and kind of ponder stuff. 
Hmm. Indeed. But no, nope, I'll go to my non-lazy This was kind of a weird show. It had really a true go-home feel to it. The main matches, I guess, were okay. Ooh, yeah. Shoot, we're gonna have to soda before and after. But I got that 12 pack. Not beer, soda. Beer, I say, for Thursday night. But two nights away. Another long, not a long freaking day, too. But as long as I can get my seven to eight hour nap. One, one to nine. Yeah, that's eight hours. I could actually do that. Make sure my cell phone has enough juice in it. Oh, there goes my watch. Timing device. Scam likely. Yeah. Oh, 87%. That's pretty good. So I just want to keep an eye on this. Heaven forbid I go over my 10 hours. They say, shame on you, hobo Tom. But uh, let's talk about some SmackDown. Uh, Kofi Kingston came in and gave a promo along with Xavier Woods. I'm kind of reading my notes here. Um, he just sets us frisbeeing pancakes everywhere. Pancakes for you, pancakes for you. Here, have some more. I thought they stopped doing that for, like, food concerns. Or is that, like, state-by-state state thing? I never know. I live in the state of Florida. And honestly, if it falls on the ground outside, you do not want to eat anything. Because mainly it will be covered in ants and who knows what other kind of insects here. I think that's the one thing people in Florida are truly afraid of. You don't, we don't care about hurricanes. Because we just have hurricane parties. We're worried about our air conditioner during the summer and ants. Because I think Florida is a cross between one big sandbar and anthill. And that and can't kill any plants for some reason here in Florida. It's weird. They, they're immortal. They don't die. I have no idea how the Spanish settled Florida. But that's that's besides the point, though. Um, Actually, it's somewhat to the point because Kofi was in Ghana. And everyone and everything stopped to see him. I guess he's a big deal over there. The only thing that would creep me out if I was, if I ever went, and this is probably why I don't go to other countries. I think I've been to Canada three times, I think. Never been to Mexico. Mexico just seems scary. Cuba doesn't seem like they like America, but I might have an old old man view on that. I would like to go to Australia, though. I think they like Americans in Australia. That and maybe to Greater Britannia. And Ireland, because I do want to go to Cardiff at Arms Park. I would like to go to an Irish pub during the day. I hear they they have a different life schedule almost. I want to go to a rugby match, a soccer game, seeing the Tower of London, a Buckingham Palace, just to see what it's like. I guess across the pond. Shout out to Slicks across the pond. Hey, Slicks. That would be weird. Seeing like someone on, seeing someone in person on YouTube. I guess that does happen though. You have meetups. I always do advertise. You can always see me at every live event. And oh, that's right. In two weeks, I have to get my ticket. Or actually, three weeks. No idea how to figure out the schedule. But, um, so Kofi was in Ghana, and, and again, back to my rant about why I don't travel, is that, like, they had people with, like, AK-47s doing crowd control. And granted, I guess Kofi is a big thing up there. I think his parents are from Ghana. I forget if he's born there or not. I don't know. But again, it was a big thing. It was kind of cool, though. Again, and seeing people with AK-47s for crowd control is not kind of my thing, though. That would worry me. Um, but then, of course, Dolph Ziggler comes out, and it's all about him. Of course, it was a, a New Day chance, and some of the chance 
for the first half, the crowd was fairly hot, and then it kind of died off once Shane showed up. <laughs> once he did not acknowledge their CM Punk chance, they're like, okay, we're done. Um, here, so again, it was a new day, rocks, and you walked out. You walked out. You still suck. And I swore I did see some empty seats there in their, their, that arena. I think this was in Lubbock, Texas. Because I know Austin was the night before. And then, uh, a little bit more than a little bit more than a month, I might go see a WWE house show. We'll, we'll see what happens that Sunday. Um, but with this, uh, it starts off. So Ziggler comes out. They have a whole bunch of promos. It's about twenty minutes. It's okay. I understand why they're trying to hype up everything for the Super Showdown. Which I will be live streaming. Well, I won't be live streaming Super Showdown, but I will be live streaming this guy's R R and R show, which is a React review. And, uh, what was the other R for? I forget now. Off the dude. Darn, I have had a long day. But again, I'll do my uh, live reaction show on Friday, 2 p.m. Then I'll probably just carry that over to another live reaction stream for Impact because someone did say that I make a pretty good video. Wow, I don't know what they're used to watching. This hobo studio. My cat doesn't want to be here. Oh, wait, uh, I, did a, I did a pretty good job there. Because I know there's like a quick second delay. I didn't get a haircut. It was getting too long. I think when I went to the gym yesterday, I could like feel a sweat on my hair. I'm like, ew. Time to get a cut. And here in Florida, it's just too hot to have long hair. And I don't know how the WWE women do any wrestling and long hair anyway. But that's a whole other issue. But I start off, the first match of the night was New Day versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. My fear came true because my fear was Sami Zayn was there to eat the pin. So that's what he does. Still keeps Kale looking somewhat strong, I guess. The New Day is pretty good. The New Day, again, they're just classic. I, I still like the old wrestling moves. The double axe handle from the top rope for the double team. That's always fun. Uh, Kale is getting a little bit bushier in beers. It's coming down a little bit thicker. Um, they have the unicorn stomp, which I haven't seen in a while. And it's always good to see one of those moves that you haven't seen in a while show up every so often. I don't know. There is kind of a nostalgia factor with that. But it's also that a little bit familiarity with our product. And, and then probably Friday, you guys will get to see how I score papers, too. So I think I'll have, by Friday, I should have like six more hours. Ten to two is four. So I'd be doing this for another two hours and then giving my reaction. Hey, it gives me something to do while the wrestling's mediocre, I guess. And then you'll get to see my red wine Friday or this or this Friday going to change up the pizza selection a little bit. I think I'm going to have a white pizza, white pan pizza with chicken. I'm going to have a fine rosé with that, which is a blush wine, for those that don't know what rosé is. Wow, maybe I do drink too much. <laughs> no. <laughs> I probably should drink more. But, again, this was a fun match. The, the unicorn stop. Uh, Kofi again, he takes out Kevin Owens, so that leaves Xavier Woods to take out Sami Zayn. Uh, Kevin Owens, again, he's a smart tag team wrestler. He held Xavier Woods by the feet just for a couple seconds so Sami Zayn could recover. Um, Zayn, he still has the best comic selling, probably next to Dolph. But, yep, Sami Zayn was there to eat the pen. Um, Dolph eventually comes in and cleans house. It's not a bad match though. It was a good. It was a good cheeseburger match. Then there was a Shane McMahon promo. Eh. Uh, Moment of bliss. Uh, it was a tape promo, so, so there were no chance. A moment of bliss. Alexa Bliss and Bailey, and, and Bailey's confused looking. I guess Alexa on. SmackDown is heal Alexa because all she wants is her coffee. She complains how bad the coffee is in Texas. I don't like coffee. Or I'll qualify that. I like my caramel macchiato from Starbucks, but that's way too expensive on hobo taste. 
Again, I'm only getting $31 every six months for my aluminum. I'm not drinking any Starbucks anytime soon. But again, it was kind of a fun thing. Um, Bliss is back to being a heel. I'll tell you what, this started to kill the crowd off because this was dying. I think either they got their scripts like right before this or Bailey didn't so disinterested in this. It wasn't even funny. And then Carmella came out to save the day, which I guess is good. Um, then, of course, it's Carmella. Then Charlotte Flair came out. And the poor assistant, like, Bailey just, like, knocked the coffee cup, like, off the stage, like, <laughs> into the leg or something. But this is not a okay segment. Then the next match... Someone's trying to something character. I don't know. Trying, trying, trying to figure out who their character is. I don't know. And then um, Alexa Bliss came out. Well, she came out from the moment in Bliss in ring gear, which I saw that. And I'm like, oh, Red Fox. I just realized this because you did respond to my comment. In Discord, this luchador on a forklift goes out to you. And I think my comment was the Discord, how many bottles of Nair was used between those women? And Artie Fox, thank you for responding. And that's probably another way you can get a free shout-out. If you respond to me when I'm on the Discord, over at the place where I watch wrestling, if you want to know where I watch wrestling, just send me an email and I'll send you that link. Um, I think, again, my thing was how many bottles of Nair was used? And he just said all of them. So that was funny. It, when, when you're discussing wrestling with other wrestling fans, it's fun. It keeps you involved in wrestling. It's entertaining, and I've yet to see... I, I have kind of met that wrestling fan, and I know who to avoid. But if you're just talking and you're sort of like, dude, this is boring, you're like, yeah, this is boring. Dude, how many balls of Nair do they go through? All of them. So again, he, he, he kept it fun. In the next match, it was a special Lumberjack match for the 24-7 title. It was Elias versus R-Truth. And at least during this match, the 24-7 rule was suspended. Makes sense. They have to have a proper title defense every season, I guess. <laughs> Even though on the golf course, it's just funny. See a guy in, in wrestling trunks running around a golf course. Oh, wow. I wonder how they dealt with that situation. Yeah, I used to steal flowers from golf courses and give them to random women. Yeah, that's a hobo way to get food. Golf courses and country clubs do have the best selection of flowers. And for the most part, or if you go there at 2 in the morning, they're free. 
Um, but with this, it was it was quick. Our truth, he got thrown outside, got pummeled by the lumberjacks, got tossed back in. Elias hit him with a knee, pinned him. Squash match. I was like, what? I thought this was going to last longer. This is a piece of toast. And then because the bell rung, the match was technically over. All the lumberjacks got in the ring, pounced on our lives. You could see him crawl out on his hands and knees from the, from the scrum. He starts crawling around the outside of the ring. Nevertheless, when they come around those corners, our truth and the last meet up, they both go underneath the ring, and a referee follows them. And the only thing you hear is, Three. And then R Truth comes out with a championship. That was more fun because that was different at least. Therefore it gets a can of soup. I mentioned the spot about Red Fox. Thank you again. You got your little free promo there. Um Alistair Black gave another promo. Um they're getting boring and long-winded. And I think the good thing is if WWE did this right, which they rarely do, they would have our truth wander around a building and hide in Alistair, or try to hide in Alistair's black locker room. That would be funny. Just to probably see Alistair Black's reaction and R Truth's reaction. Alistair Black is probably above the 24 7 title, but it would be something for him to do at least. Um, and Shane McMahon comes out. Oh, wow. He just gets. He just. CM Punk. CM Punk. CM Punk chance. Start raining down Supreme. And then boring. Boring. Um. Again, he just goes after Roman, comes out with the Re Revival. Revival go up to meet Roman Reigns. He super punches both of them. Comes down. Drew McIntyre came out of nowhere, though. Wow. Again, setting up their match. They're already advertising for their July pay-per-view. I have no idea what that is. I hope it isn't. No, because that's Saturday, I think. That's the fight for the Fallen. Up in Jacksonville, which again, I do plan to go depending on my work schedule. So again, there's going to be a lot of AEW. I think they're based somewhat out of Jacksonville because I own the cons. They own the Jaguars. So we should be seeing a lot of them, which is good. And then this leads up to the women's triple threat match. Oh, then there was actually dueling chance. Let's go Roman, CM Punk. Let's go Roman, CM Punk. The crowd just said, Beach Ball. I wanted to hear Beach Ball Mania. <laughs> I could do that here. Be so, I think I do have a free Beach Ball somewhere. Ooh, getting hobo thoughts. <laughs> just shout out Beach Ball Mania. Who was the other guy? <laughs> 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 At WrestleMania, the <laughs> beach ball comes out. Yeah, you suck, security. Boo. Beach ball mania. Especially because there's always that one match you want to sleep through. But uh, the match between Charlotte Carmella and Alexa Bliss was infinitely better than the Charlotte Flair versus Lacey Evans match. Charlotte seemed more into this. She was actually selling. Uh, Charlotte just. Did not have a good match on Monday. She's like, who are you? I'm not doing Jack for you. You're not doing Jack for me. Pfft. You suck. I think I did get that match a piece of toast, too. Again, lowest rating. Rarely do I give that. Wow, I've given out a bunch of toast recently. It's not good. It tells you about the quality of the product. This was much better. Alexa Bliss and a Lucha Destroyer. This is awesome. 
This is awesome. This is Lucha. I'm still looking forward to Triple Mania in August. I do plan to give a live stream on that. Again, depending on my work schedule. It depends if I'm working. Oh, that's right. The, that last week in June gets interesting. But um, then Boo Sonya Deville and Mandy Rose come out. And again, it's just an automatic boost on you to I refuse to cheer for her. Although she is getting a lot better in the ring. I just don't like what they did to my princess, Kimberly. And it was, uh, change. She was from Princess Kimberly to Kimber Lee to Abby Laith. Then out of here. So I know six new wrestlers actually got name changes. Unless they do something good, I'm afraid it's going to be out of here for them too. Because that means even the charismatic Trevor Lee's got his name changed to Cameron something. Starts with a D, that's all I remember. But again, Boo Sonya Deville, Mandy Rose comes out. Um, Carmella hit a second row Frankensteiner. That was pretty cool. On Charlotte Flair. You know, it's always fun to see the figure eight. Alexa Bliss hit a twisted Bliss onto, onto Charlotte when she was still bridging. Charlotte's timing was a little bit off, and she might have been thrown off from last night's match. Because you can see, like, once Alexa launched herself in the air, Instead of being exposed in a bridge, you could tell that Charlotte went back to the mat and did the traditional kind of kind of arm tuck thing that they do for for taking that move. Hey, you know what? It, it prolongs her career. It's such a minor quibble, and only because of her previous match, I might probably critical of her for that. But that's okay. Uh, it was almost. Thank you, Alexa. Because when Alexa went to roll up Charlotte, she, she grabbed a fistful of tights. And we all know what happened the last time Charlotte got a fistful of tights grabbed. Thank you, Lana. Thank you, Lana. Thank you, Lana. Lana is the best. Lana, number one. Thank you, Lana. Yes, we saw the full moon in Charlotte. <laughs> and actually, the way the camera angle was, you would have seen a full moon in Texas, too. Terrible. Um, so Carmella kicked Mandy Rose, like drop kicked Mandy Rose right in the boobies. That has to hurt. Alexa Bliss did win. She got the DDT on Carmella. So for... The July pay-per-view. No, I wrote it down somewhere. Shoot. I can't remember it. It's very forgettable. A very forgettable title. I don't know. Whatever it was. I had it written down. Yeah, whatever. Whatever that pay-per-view is in July. That's still a while away. She's going to be facing Bailey for the SmackDown Women's Championship. And then um, it was a whole recap stuff. Recap. Although I did get the funny line again. <laughs> Orin had the best original line, so that made me feel good. That was a feel good moment. Triple H probably enjoyed it. He's like, wow, you did something off the script, dude. I respect you for that. Neon Rangers, like, those were good lines. Like, yeah, come back after that. Oh, that was pretty, that was okay. I'll give a chuckle to that. But then, uh, there was a Lars interview, and poor Kayla seems absolutely terrified, and she's absolutely tiny. I'll be honest, this wasn't a, this wasn't a bad first ring interview. 
Lars Sullivan, I know in NXT is really is was he gave good points in NXT. Simplistic to the point. They they went to his strength, talked about his character work in the ring. So it wasn't bad. I mean, it looked for like the first couple of minutes. I think he was trying to build up that tension. I thought he forgot his lines. I'm like, oh no, this guy's gonna falter. Unless it was like, okay, breathe. Do the effect, and then go. It was actually pretty. It was actually pretty good. Then there was an Andrade C and almost match against someone. Um, this is my bad, folks. I actually used the bathroom during this match. They figured they're not going to give Andrade a five-minute squash match, which I guess they did. Um, he came out. Uh, uh, I did hear Finn's Finn Balor's music because behind that door, behind the door of wrestling, right there, was actually the bathroom. So probably after the squash match, I'll be honest, I didn't see it, so I don't know what happened, so I won't rate it. But I heard Finn Balor's music. I just needed a bathroom break, folks. I mean, this was going to be a very longish SmackDown. We got a lot of promos, very go home show heavy. And then. Goldberg, Goldberg, came out, gave a typical Goldberg promo. He really likes the kids, though. I guess being a dad, you're like, yeah, look, you're going to pat you on the head, little boy. He gave a little girl a hug, so I guess she wanted a hug from Goldberg. Her parents probably said, oh, yeah, you want to get a hug from him. Because that little girl was nowhere near I don't even think their parents met, but I don't even think the parents met when Goldberg was wrestling. So, I mean, that's kind of a cute moment, though. And then you heard the gong. 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 But no Undertaker. It was a tease of the Undertaker. Maybe he did something after the show. I don't know. We'll see. And that was SmackDown. Um, I know I had the option to watch 205 Live. So no. I think it's going to be one of those streets where I'm going to get wrestled up for a while. So I have to tranquilo. Can I just watch it? Nah, nah, not tomorrow. I like my own schedule as it. Monday, Tuesday, Friday. Sorry, Sunday. So again, the rest of the week is going to look like this. On Thursday, hopefully get the card up for New Dominion so that I'll have a special guest. Dr. Tom will show up, and he'll give his predictions for the matches for the Super Show on Friday and New Japan Dominion on Sunday. I probably might be able to watch the recap on Monday. At least the highlights of it. So he'll 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 be here and he'll give his expert opinion about those two shows. Probably on Thursday evening. Friday I pull double duty. I'm gonna be here live 2 p.m. Florida time or Eastern Standard Time to do my R R review recap. Review, recap, and reaction video. That's it. My r r, &R video for the Super Showdown. And later at 10 o'clock, only because someone said I made a good video, I'm going to make another live stream for Impact Wrestling. Because Impact Wrestling has actually been a far superior product to WWE so far. And I think the Depending on Sunday, Monday ish work schedule, I may do the New Japan Dominion pay per view. I think it would be on at 3 a.m. Sunday time. So at least I could always take a nap and get some work done. Again, it can't, next, next week's show up to work schedule is still up in the air. I'll find out more about that. Tomorrow, I hope. As long as I'm not fired! Be the Vince Devil puppet. 
That's the one I wanted to say. You're fired. Oh, that gave me. I have to do that. That would be funny and so right at the same time. Wow. So again, that's kind of the schedule for a week. And I'd like to thank everyone for watching and everyone have a good day. And I'll be posting this video shortly. Bye.